All right, guys, uh, today we are going to be doing another uh, Shiryu SB summoning on this unit. So this time around, we have the Purple Banshee NTD, and then we also have uh, Blue 12 or Marita Truce, um, however you want to call her. So from this version of the Unicorn, uh, probably another mid unicorn i would definitely have to say but the scene uh the ex skill is definitely phenomenal uh i think this is directly from that one episode where they are escorting back uh banaja and his unicorn back to space or something like that and then in the middle of the escorting um i believe Banadra somehow trigger Marita into attacking him so that's why you have this right there where I think she just went berserk and going into NTD at the same time resonating with the unicorn NTD as well they kind of collide so um, I, it was just a scene that I kind of remember vividly I would say so we have that so I think it definitely matches with how they kind of designed the unit anyway especially the pilot uh, because I think at that time Marita she was kind of like she was mentally not stable at that point in time because she was trying to go back into herself and not try to be brainwashed in a way. So I, it, 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 okay, it all kind of makes sense when I when I when I remember. Oh, it's from this specific scene. But as always, you guys are going to be seeing uh, kind of the performance wise of this unit. Uh, unfortunately, I did not go about going into the Phantom Ace or any of the arena matches because um, I just couldn't find any that would you know make the unit shine or you know this unit just kind of die way too early because I don't really have like any higher start like high star investment. Um, I only have it at bear stock and you know zero potential unleash. I don't even have any chance in the skills, so I was looking at it, you know, bare bones, so it, it wasn't doing as much. And keep that in mind, I am looking at it on a JP account, so JP has tons more units to compare about. And I mean, like this unit is, is just not performing too well over there, but um, I feel like on global, it's definitely not a bad unit. Um, I, def I would say I highly pray this unit to be a fairly optimal one to use at least in a PvE situation. Arena wise, I don't know how well this unit could do without any transcendent skill, which you know that's always the troublesome because not many people can go about and summon continuously summon into your max out of unit, or not a lot of people will have you know tons of rainbow coins into sparing for a standard unit, right? Uh, so there are a lot of things you got to take a look at, but overall, if you purely look at um, how it do, how it's doing in PVE content? I think it's definitely pretty good. So uh, without further ado, let's kind of take a look uh, about these stats. You know they are you know continuously gonna change as we do have level increases. But uh, as we compared before, um, all these stats are generally what you expect throughout any of the raid unit. So I will not say there are any big discrepancy where this one has a more generally higher stat one or the other. So we're not really gonna take. Take too much time talking about that. Uh, we're simply gonna dive deep into the overall kit. So if we exclude the transcendent skill, uh, we're looking look at it right now. Uh, you guys can see that this unit is actually uh, you don't really see a lot of ways to gain extra power. Uh, the only thing this one I would have to say is more like an endurance type unit. You have the healing, and then you have this right here, the EX skill recovery by 46%. Uh, this is a saving grace for the unit because if we don't have this one, uh, this unit is probably not going to perform as well. I did record how fast it recharges the EX skill gauge. I'm going to put the number somewhere up right now. Um, I haven't had time to review the footage yet, but uh, that 46% should be fairly uh, significant. Uh, and then in terms of my comparison in conjunction with the module that I'm using, I think we were I, like for, for me personally, I feel like the EX gauge was like going up really fast. It was actually, it was good. Definitely like that. Accuracy increased by 14%. So nothing to write home about is pretty minimal. Uh, maybe 20% or even 25% could be a lot more better. Uh, because I would say some of the attack patterns, you, you, like it would suggest that we were missing because we weren't really directly con connecting so i feel like higher accuracy could have uh, you know made it a lot more better but uh throughout the attack pattern we were rotating back and forth via just the arm armor bs which is like the ranged weapon and then the vn so there are a lot of times where st uh, stop timing where we're not really attacking so that was kind of bothering me a little bit because we weren't really getting a lot of hits so uh, in, in conclusion we didn't generate a lot more ex gauge recovery than i wanted to so that was kind of i mean i can't really control that right 
Uh, so we have that. So it's pretty bare stock. So, but once we get into the transcendent skill, uh, this unit is solidified to be more like a tank, more like a endurance. It's meant to stall the timer, like stall the match in a way. So right out the bat, you have increased uh, HP. So initially, you're not like a what is it, transcendent skill one, you're not getting the full 25%. It's going to be like a gradual incline. So I think it should be a little bit lower than that. Maybe even coming in at the 10% digit, something like that. Maybe a little bit higher. Um, but this is where the only chances you're getting some, I guess, from power. Uh, it's only going to be beneficial to the VN, which is the claw, the melee weapon. So it's, it's not bad because that's pretty much like the main attacker so at, at least they acknowledge that this unit is, is flawed <laughs> there's really no avenue for some um, actual damage output so that's one that's good uh but this one the third line that is where this unit is really good uh when the battle begins gain hp absorb status so we cover 50 uh damage 50 percent damage dealt as hp so this is where this unit is like an endurance type unit. It's really meant for survivability and in conjunction, like these two in conjunction makes this unit pretty much unstoppable. So that's really nice. And initially when you battle begins, like we, like at, at this point when we talk about the last line right there, we're talking about max out. That's probably when we are getting this anyways and these two. Uh, but TE5, this unit is pretty strong. I, I will not contest that at all, all right? Like I will not. Yeah, this unit is strong for sure. Uh, there's you're not really gonna die too fast. So with that said, I feel like even in arena, it should perform well. Uh, I I definitely feel like it. So if you are building this unit, you are literally gonna build this unit having max out HP as far as like on the body, even on the module. You you put HP on this guy because this one it's like a tank, but it's not a tank at the same time. It 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 um. I guess it has a lot of those tank attributes, but at the same time, it is able to deal a lot more damage at the same time. So this unit is fun for sure, but but then again, coming uh, to the full circle, this unit is going to be great when you have uh, T5. Uh, that's <laughs> probably the only thing I'll kind of uh, end off right there. So not bad. I, I, I definitely do like this unit, but it just, it, the investment, man, man, I just wish that. Uh, we have more avenues of getting the rainbow coins, but we don't sad to say, but yeah, I love, like, I, I love it It's not bad. Uh, if you guys do want to get one copy of it, I probably I, I, I wouldn't say it's bad But do keep that in mind our RNG are uh, pretty uh, horrendous. You guys you guys probably know by now uh, My summoning has been all over the place. So if you guys are going for that one singular copy it might take you 10 multi summon. It might take you one multi summon and really all depends or e even you might even get on the tickets who knows um, but I definitely do have a high hopes for this unit. I guess in the current in the cur current uh, global state, because uh, first of all, we don't have too much purple unit. If we exclude, let's say the soliloquy, which I don't think a lot of people has gotten either. Even the blue destiny unit one, I don't know if like tons of people got that one. Um, I think blue destiny unit one is definitely a elk like pretty much mid compared to this one just because that one relies on like having new type enemy which you know we don't have a lot right now so that one is taking an L at the current moment but this one is definitely better than that one at the current state uh but as we head towards you know future releases uh i would you know can reconsider uh kind of reevaluate but right now i i do truly think this is a very outstanding unit uh all right coming down to the pilot so the pilot unfortunately is kind of a mixed bag. It's uh, very strong. Um, if you guys take a look at just the percentage, 190, 114, you, you name it, it's really powerful. But you guys are gonna start noticing some funny business over here. So whenever you is activated for five seconds, for five seconds, five seconds, 10 seconds, and 10 seconds, and 10 seconds, the only thing on here that is kind of like um, on demand for like the first 30 seconds are these two. So initially, these two are the only thing that you are able to proctor because uh, first of all, you have not hit the EX skill yet, and it's gonna take it's gonna take a minute. All right, it's it's not gonna come on demand like real quick. And after you do the like after you pop the EX skill, 
like the initial few hits you will notice the damage just kind of fluctuate upward a little bit and then as your ex skill kind of cools down reloading yeah the damage output is gonna start dropping all right uh so do be mindful of that um so although the unit is really good itself being the tank it is being the uh hp regenerator that is um you wouldn't i, I would not expect i i, I was just saying I don't really have the highest expectation of maintaining a high damage output because of these conditions. The only way to pretty much um, overcome that is uh, you sacrifice, I guess, the main weapon. Or, uh, no, not main weapon, every weapon slot. Like the main weapon, additional, and third weapon. Heavily increase that or heavily invest into the EXK boosting or the EXK recovery. Uh, that's the only way to, um, I guess, in a way to sustain that. So that's probably how you would do it uh, but I think that probably works out just fine because you have 46% on the unit itself already you have 46 and then whatever maximum you are able to pump up for global with like a 31 like the level 31 I don't know how much that translates to it is that like a 14% per every slot for every weapon so I think you should have like you should minimize that cooldown like that gap we're not having all these power so it should work out I, I i think it should still work out so when when global has that module where you are able to gain ex skill gauge recovery yeah this unit probably will be cooking again but other than that uh either way i feel like you should get this one um if you guys do already have the formable rhythm then probably you can just kind of scratch it off and skip it because at least Riddle, the formable one, will offer you something uh, where you don't have to like always managing this over here or you don't have to go back to the unit and reinvest because it, it, it has to go both ways. This unit, this pilot requires a lot more work for the unit to be more compatible, having those, a lot of those five seconds condition. So although it's really good, all right, I, I cannot just kind of fact that all these percentage, 114, Increase accuracy, increase melee sense again, increase EX skill, or uh, the melee sense again. Like, I cannot stress enough, this is a really heavily loaded effect, but you gotta work for it, alright? You, you just cannot sit here and be like, alright, I got the pilot, I'm ready to rock and roll. It, this unit does not work, so um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, overall, I do have really hard regards for this unit, uh, because even in my testing, the, the damage output was not falling off, alright? I have pretty much every one in like for my testing unit having a custom level 13 so I'm not simply trying to praise it a lot like it's still doing pretty good for PvE content all right but for PvP if you're not level up for the transcendent skill I would highly suggest you guys don't use it because it's not gonna end up really good so other than that I think that's pretty much what I have for you guys uh, pretty phenomenal unit for global at the moment uh, I think it's just the funny business of you know the tankiness it's not not really the tankiness in a way but just the ability to always regenerate HP and then how having that fast EX skill rotation if you do manage it correctly it could be a fun unit to play with um, other than that that's pretty much what I have uh, what I have for you guys and I'll be catching you guys on on the next one